Hi everybody, this is Santiago, Hotel India 8 Sierra Mike X-Ray and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a very quick video on the basics of CAT and DAX for SmartSDR for Flex in which I pretend to show you how those two uh, parts of the program works for beginners, just uh, for startup, nothing too, too complicated. If this is your first time in, in here and want to watch nice how-to videos and live streaming of my DX operation, don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button below and clicking the bell to receive a notification whenever a new video is available. First of all, I must confess and admit that I'm still a very fairly new user of Flex Radio. But the help I gotten from the Flex community, the Facebook group, and the Flex support team have been phenomenal, very useful, very handy. So I want to make the same thing with new users. Maybe you'll find uh, this video useful for your purposes of learning what is CAT and DAX and how to uh, get on it, get on it to begin your operations. For the purpose of uh, this video, please take it uh, in consideration that I'm using latest version of a smart SDR, which is 3.1.8. Now let's get to it. A smart SDR CAT, or just CAT, like uh, you can see here, is where all the, the you manage all connections to the radio using COM ports, PTT ports, etc. Any third-party program that you or any hardware that you want to use and connect to your radio which uses a port you're gonna manage through here through the card like you can see here we have a TCP port which is uh, slices a slice A and a slice B I'm using a flex 6300 so I only have two slices available you will see uh, you have uh, four slices or eight slices depending on the radio, the, the 6000 series that you have. In this case, I only have uh, two slices available. And creating a port is very easy. It's a very straightforward uh, process. It's very simple. For example, if I want to connect a new logger to the radio using port uh, a port or a cat communication I just click here add a port this little window will pop up let's give it a name let's I usually try to give names that I will remember later on what it is, it is about so for example if you want to connect uh, November 1 Mike Mike imagine you're going to participate in a contest and you want to use that program you click November 1 Mike Mike that's the name that will give it for now it is a CAT protocol you can choose between serial port TCP port the most common one is uh, serial port you're gonna then you can choose between an existing port or a flex created port let's keep it uh, flex created uh, it will create Number 17, it will assign COM 17, slice, slice A to begin with, but make sure you have enabled the auto switch slice. That way, if you have, if you have it enabled, then the program you're working with will follow where, whichever slice is active. So make sure you have it enabled if you, if you plan to use both slices with the same program. And then you have... Uh, Usually, this is set to normal to begin with. And we click Save. And in just a matter of seconds, couple of seconds, you will see that the port will be created. Now you, you see it there. November 1 Mike Mike created in serial port number 17. As you see, there's no process running. But if I want to open, for example, you will see it is blank. Sorry, hit the wrong one. 
not you, no, not now. Here you go. It's almost everything is blank because I don't use uh, N1MM. Actually, I, I have it for this demonstration. So that's for you. You will see that it's empty. Now, if you look at the, the COM17, uh, now it's process. It says N1MM logger is running. So that means that the program connected correctly to the CAT number and is receiving information from the radio. As you see here, if I, if I let's minimize this, you'll see that it says uh, flex 6000 series, slice one, which is slice A, like it should be. And the frequency is 1472. It is a FT8 frequency, but this confirmed that the radio is uh, sending and receiving information from uh, the logger program. Let's minimize this again. Let's close this. Uh, yes, I want to exit. You see, now it's uh, no process again is running because I closed the program, but that's like you can see it's very easy that's everything you have anything you have to do for uh, creating a port and connecting any program uh, to it you can do the same with uh, DX lag commander or any other program that needs to connect to a cut port on your radio it's very simple very straightforward imagine that I I don't want to use N1MM again I don't need it I don't use it I don't like it I for any reason I want to delete that connection and free that port for any future use I just click the one that I want I need to delete and hit remove obviously whenever you're re deleting something or removing something the program that want to make sure that that's what you want to do so this it will remind you are you sure you want to remove it we click yes for the matter of this video and after the, uh, just a couple of seconds here you go it was removed now I don't have anything using uh, port 17 and it's free for another uh, connection that I want to do that's it for CAD as you can see it's very straightforward very easy in CAD we also have uh, some kinds of uh, different kinds of ports let me open this again the protocol is CAD PTT Winkier N1MM spots OTRSSP. But for the matter of this video, and if you're just beginning to use Flex Smart SCR, what, what you're going to need for the moment is just uh, to create uh, CAD ports to connect your programs to the radio. That's it for CAD. Let's move now to the audio part of the program which is a DAX here we go DAX is the audio control of the flex this is where you control uh, the streaming of the audio uh, for digital uh, modes and for digital operations this is something that you always want to have selected if you want to do digital make sure always DAX is activated you see, you see, DAX TX is off, and I click it again. It turns blue. It means it it's activated, and you can see it is already streaming. You can see also here in the streams, in the receive streams, you're gonna have how many slices you have. It's gonna be there. Like I said, I'm using a six three hundred, so there's only two slices available. A slice A and a slice B which is not present at the moment it is closed but if you have a, a 6 400 you will see slice A B C and D and so on and so on with other versions of the 6000 series it will show you if this slice is streaming or not for example if I want, I want to turn off slice A I just click here and it's off already it's not transmitting it's not uh, receiving or streaming anything I click it again now it's streaming also in CAT 
in DAX, sorry, you have to make sure that whatever slice is transmitting here is set on your flags. For example, here you go to DAX and make sure it's channel number one. Here you go to DAX IQ channel, make sure it's number one. Normally, those two have must be the same, channel one or channel X should be the same in both uh, options and should be uh, streaming as well here. CAT is, uh, DAX is also used for uh, recording in other program. For example, let me move this a little bit. You can see I have Audacity is installed in my, in my computer. Uh, if I open Audacity, which I will do now, and I choose uh, slice one as an input, DAX one as an input in Audacity, it will record whatever I'm streaming in DAX one. So it's very useful if you want to record your transmission or your, your receptions, whatever you're streaming in, then you have you can listen to yourself uh, later on. Just make sure you put the correct DAX input in Audacity uh, according to what one you want uh, to record. In DAX, also you can control sample rates. You can see here. Normally, ninety-six thousand is too high, depending on your computer uh, capacity or resources. 96,000 is too much. I had it. I have it in 96,000. Sorry, because I'm testing something with my computer. I'm demanding a lot of uh, performance from my computer to verify something. So I have it at the highest sample rate. The highest the rate, the more that the computer we need to work to make everything uh, run smoothly. So be careful with that. You can set up, set your mic uh, gain here, transmission gain, mic record gain, receiving gain uh, for whatever slices, and as that's some of the options that you have in DAX. So this was a very quick view of the basics of uh, CAT and DAX. I know that I'm uh, there are. Uh, more complex and more uh, thorough uses of both uh, utilities. But I uh, just wanted to make sure that uh, the beginners, we have a clear overview of how to begin using those two uh, parts of the program. So if you're a new user, I hope you find this useful. If you're a more experienced user, uh, sorry if I uh, was too uh, simple. So uh, please uh, use the comment session if you want to let us know what other uses we have for cats and dags and what other uh, things we need to keep in mind when using cats and dags. And that way you're going to help me and help uh, the beginners. So don't be afraid to comment in the comment session and let us know your opinion. But before I go, I also have a couple of final notes that I want to share because I learned from experience, like uh, most of do, uh, most of us does. First, it is important uh, to make sure that always CAT and DAX are open. It can be minimized, like I have it. I usually have it minimized, or you can have it uh, open if you have enough uh, screen real estate available but just make sure that they're always running because if you close it then uh, it won't work for my uh, for example if imagine i want to close it it will uh, advise me are you sure we're not we're gonna close uh, cut because this will disconnect any port or third party applications running from the radio so it will ask you if, if you are sure 
obviously we're gonna hit no and same thing with the DAX panel if you want to close it by mistake or because you want to it will uh, ask you the question are you sure you want to close it we hit no so make sure they're always running you can even put it that uh, whenever you start smart SDR it will open cats and DAX also uh, here in settings you can uh, check here if you check here on startup auto connect lost radio that will mean that whenever they start up they will connect to the ra last radio that was used in my case I only have one radio so it's check and it will always connect to the radio that is uh, the correct radio because I'm only using one maybe some time in the future I will have uh, two or three flex radios so it's gonna be nice to have options Also, uh, for those of you that will be using version number two or earlier of uh, Smart SDR for Flex and that are using Windows 10 on your computer, whether it's a laptop or PC, be careful because there's there are some known issues that sometimes Windows 10 updates will uh, delete or affect the DAX configuration. So if you have the combination of uh, Windows 10 and uh, earlier version of uh, Smart SDR, be careful with updates because uh, sometimes it will cause uh, damage to the DAX configurations and the DAX audio and stuff like that. For me, that was one of the reasons that I upgraded to version number three of the program. And after the upgrade, I haven't had any other issue with uh, Windows updates and DAX. So that is something that is, you should consider if you had the means to upgrade to the latest version. And that's it. That was it for the quick video, simple information, basic information of CAT and DAX for Flex Radio. I hope you like it. I hope, I hope it serves you for whatever purposes you need. And now... Uh, I would be happy to know that I uh, help just a little bit as far as I can be. So uh, please, use, again, use the comment section if you want to let me know <coughs> Sorry, what other uh, things we have to keep in mind to use CAT and DAX. If you want to share information with us, please uh, do so in the comment section. So until next time. This is uh, Hotel India 8 Sierra Mike X-Ray. Thank you for watching this video. Keep coming back for more videos and more information. So until next time, 73s, and please stay safe, be safe, and take care of your families. 73s.